Hey guys, this is Chris. I'm doing a quick video showing you a budget detail attachment. So um, if you have a shop vac already and you don't want to buy an extractor, there's no videos out there right now that uh, I could find that show you how to turn a shop vac, just like an ordinary one, into a carpet extractor. So the reason that we're going to use this shop vac to actually do this rather than buying something like a little Bissell Little Green or a smaller uh, carpet extractor. Um, I know it doesn't have a water attachment, but the good thing about this is obviously if you already have a shop vac, you don't have to spend that much money to convert it into an extractor. This has about two and a half horsepower for the motor. The Bissell extractors don't really have that much um, extraction power outside of the professional models, but two and a half horsepower of suction will really pull a lot of water out of the carpets and any upholstery that you're gonna be using this for. So the nice thing about this is if you already have one, you can convert it and make use of it for something else. And this is far more powerful than uh, some of the consumer grade products that you'll be getting in the same price point. So for 50 bucks, you can convert a shop vac you already have uh, to do a better job than maybe a hundred or $150 Bissell machine to do the carpet extraction on. I got this plastic piece, this metal piece and the extractor head on Amazon. You can get it for about 45 bucks. Um, my shop vac has a tiny hose, so it doesn't really adapt nicely into the included adapter, but I just duct taped it to seal it up nicely. But yeah, basically what you can do, so like here we have a disgusting carpet out of the Copart Prius that I got for 875 bucks. Uh, we're gonna try and clean this. So what I'm doing is pretty makeshift. Uh, I just have some Resolve that I'm gonna spray on here. Um, I also got a little steam blaster. I got this for 10 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. So you basically just have this little steam head. Um, and if I press this button, it shoots out steam. So I put a little bit of the Resolve on, do a quick just once over with the steamer and just brush it in. And then I have a, uh, I got this little drill head attachment for, uh, I think that was like 99 cents or like three bucks or something like that on Amazon as well. So I'll link everything below in the description. A lot of stuff you can probably find on Facebook Marketplace for cheap, like the steamer. And yeah, it's just a quick, easy budget way to do a detail job. So I'll uh, go ahead and start. So pretty liberally, you can just spray some Resolve on here, do a good coat. And then the directions on the bottle say to let it sit for a little bit. So I'm gonna let it sit for like three minutes or so before I start actually um, using the steamer on it. So just for fun, I'll show you. This is, uh, I did one carpet already. All that, let me show, there's a better angle on the light. All that uh, mucky water came out of the carpet after I sucked it up. So we're gonna do the same for that other carpet over there. All right, so starting now, I can't really do this with two hands, but I'm gonna use this little steam head. Uh, there's a lot of dog hair and just crud. You can see like, kind of uh, ingrained into the carpet. So using this will heat up the carpet, it'll help get stuff loosened up a little bit and uh, brush it free to the surface level where we can actually extract it out with the extractor head along with the uh, some of the water we're gonna put on here and the soap solution. All right, so if you look at the top of this uh, little steamer head, it's disgusting. This is all crud that came up out of the carpet into the bristles while I was uh, doing a quick pass over. Basically just going up and down pretty quick just to get all the stuff out of the carpet. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use the drill head over there. All right, let's go ahead and do this real quick. It's a little hard to do with one hand, but you get the idea, you just kind of do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this with two hands and uh, we'll see the final product. So this was a brand new head with all bright yellow bristles. You can see all the dirt kind of collected in there. So it's a good sign it's loosening up all the crud in here. With this uh, extractor, there's no water shooting attachment. So we'll just give a quick spritz with the hose just to get some water on there to mix with the soap and do another uh, drill pass. All right, so now the carpet's been uh, soaked, been uh, agitated with the drill and um, George is doing his carpet. But um, we'll suck all the water out with the soap and you'll see with the clear extractor head all of the water and crud that you're getting out of the carpet. Uh, like the head. You see all the brown crud coming out of the carpet? That's all dirty water and soap. So you can press down pretty hard and go kind of slow. If you work back and forth, it'll slowly pull up stuff. You want to do plenty of passes on this to get all the water out as best as you can.
right, guys, that's pretty much it. So um, just make sure you do enough passes on this so that it's uh, no more waters coming out. I know I was going pretty fast on video. I'm going to go a few passes over really slow. It's just hard to do with one hand. But, um, yeah, you really want to make sure you're pressing down hard and moving at a slow pace, getting up as much moisture as you can and dirt out of the carpets. Um, and then, yeah, you pretty much just let them air dry. But it's pretty stained and gross, but I think it looks a lot better than before, especially some of these corner areas where there's not much... Um, you know, gunk to begin with. They look pretty much very light tan. This area I can try and do as much as possible, but you're only gonna get out so much. But um, in your car, hopefully you don't have as much damage to your carpets and you can actually revive them and bring them back uh, to a good level of use. I still haven't done the in-depth passes over there, but um, we've got most of the water out. I'll go ahead and show you um, the water level now and how gross this is. You can see it's pretty soapy, pretty murky, and um, really gross so that is all dirt and soap that we pulled out of the carpets and you can see some other pieces of dirt and crap stuck to the side of the shop back here so overall i'd say this thing did a really good job of uh cleaning out the carpets all right guys that's pretty much it if you want to go ahead and give this a try yourself uh, you can visit the amazon links in the description below to get the drill attachment and this extractor head thank you to happy tree for sending this over to me to review and uh show off i'm really glad i could use it to clean up the prius